if something should happen to me or both my husband and I, and our family needs our information in LastPass, is there a way to give them access without giving out our passcodes? That is a great question. And I do know the answer to that one. Um, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and this is actually one of the reasons when people ask me, you know, well, should I upgrade to the premium version of LastPass? Usually the, I say to them, well, the only reason why I do recommend it is because it comes with this extra feature called emergency access. And that is intended to do exactly that. Do you see this uh, accepted share offers thing up here at the top? Yeah. So this is actually another way to do it rather than sharing all of your passwords. If you have one or two or three passwords that you want to share immediately, you can share them with people that um, are in your family if you subscribe to the LastPass family or even if they don't, if, even if they are just a free LastPass user, they do have to have a LastPass account to use this feature. You both have to have your own separate LastPass account. But this is one that I'm helping a client work on his online uh, contract signing app so he needed to give me access to that instead of handing me over the password he shared it with me through LastPass and that gives him the control to even um, hide the password I, I could just see it as a series of dots and then it works within my browser and just fills it in when I need to get in he's completely in control and can take that away whenever he wants so that's one option if you want to share a few things immediately but if what you really want to do is share things if you are you know, in the hospital or God forbid you get hit by a bus tomorrow or whatever, that's where emergency access comes in. So let me open this in the Chrome browser because LastPass with the Chrome browser works a little differently. It doesn't use that standalone app like it does with Safari. It does it right in the browser. So I'm gonna go to open my vault and you'll see kind of the same setup here. And this time I'm gonna go down to emergency access and I only have one person here, and that is my mom. And so I've designated my mom as my one emergency contact. Waiting period, I selected immediately. Now what that waiting period is about is you can have a number of people set up as your emergency contacts. And the waiting period says, okay, if this person requests access to my passwords, how long do I get to deny that request? So. It's kind of like, you know, maybe you have a nephew and maybe he's not your most trusted relative, but hey, if no one else is around, then sure, you want him to get it, right? But maybe you want to put a waiting period of a couple of weeks just in case, you know, you're not gone. He's, he says, hey, can I have all your passwords? You get the email and you go, mm, no, I'm not gone yet, denied. Okay, so you can select waiting periods of up to, I don't know, I don't know if there is any upward limit, but you know, it could be 30 days, 60 days, it could be a week, it could be a day, it could be immediately. So that's what that waiting period is about, just to give different people um, access to your, to your accounts. And that, I think that is a better option than just giving them your LastPass password. Um, although that is another option for some people, you can give them your LastPass password. Now it's going to use what's called two-factor authentication to set them up on their device. So you will need to help them. You will need to be there live when they set it up so that you can okay that. It's not like you can just give them your LastPass password and then poof, disappear and it, it, it won't work. Uh, someone needs to be on your email on your end to be able to approve that. But those are the different ways that you can do that. And yeah, I think it's um, a really, really good thing to think about. Um, helps our loved ones not have to wait and go through probate um, to get access to our accounts, uh, things like that. So it's a, it's a really good thing to do and safer than writing them down and handing them over.